作活存的心灵，幸福是接受和活出这礼物的真谛，教我学习爱到痛时就如遇见主。人一生最预感，艳阳纵使多耀眼，如若没爱，仿佛天空阻隔了光线的障碍。清洁净我心眼，长留着爱的恩处，清澈璀璨。当一对夫妇因为爱而结合，并希望生孩子，本来系非常美好同自然嘅，但系随住现代人迟婚。生育嘅年龄亦随之压后，不育嘅夫妇又或者年纪较大嘅夫妇，考虑采用试管授孕嚟完成生儿育女嘅梦想，已经非常普遍。到目前为止，全球已经有超过五百万名嘅婴儿系透过试管授孕而嚟到呢一个世界上。但系好多人并唔知道，试管授孕无论喺过程同后果，亦都有好多方面系同父母对子女嘅爱相违背。从受孕嗰一刻开始，胚胎已经拥有一套独一无二嘅 DNA 基因序列，系一个人。试管受孕呢一个科技，将精子同卵子嘅结合，而思到实验室进行，令到数以百万计嘅人类胚胎无限期被存放喺冷冻库中。试管受孕让夫妇可以利用第三者嘅精子，又或者卵子去诞下孩子。但系呢一啲渴求生育嘅父母，可能并冇谂过呢一啲嘅做法对孩子日后嘅心理会造成好大嘅负面影响。Kids born via sperm donation, they're very wanted by their mothers, which is always a good feeling. But there is that flip side of you were abandoned by someone. I'm one of the first produced by science and not sex. 生命本来系天主嘅恩赐，喺实验室成人嘅孩子。系爱情结晶品，定系工厂生产线上嘅产品呢？喺加拿大，大约喺每六对嘅夫妇中，就有一对遇到生育上嘅困难。喺二零一零年出生嘅婴儿中，就有超过三千名系经试管受孕而成人嘅。试管受孕嘅技术已经有三十多年历史。世上第一名试管婴儿 Louis Brown 喺一九七八年于英国诞生，时至今日，呢一项科技已经颇为成熟。天主教会喺一九八七年首次公布有关辅助生育嘅教导，圣座信理部颁布咗《生命的恩赐训令》，当中指出，利用任何技术协助夫妇喺自然结合时成孕，都系合乎道德噶。但系喺任何辅助生育嘅技术，如果取代咗夫妇嘅自然结合，就系、是、违反天主教会嘅教导。换言之，试管受孕呢一项广为人采用嘅技术，喺天主教会嘅教导下系不合乎道德噶。天主教会反对堕胎，一般人尚且能理解，但系使用试管受孕等技术，目的系制造生命，点解又被视作为不道德呢？试管受孕又称人工受孕，普遍已经被大众所接受，但系亦都有鲜为人知嘅一面。呢一项技术程序表面睇嚟颇为简单，就系、是、将精子同卵子放喺试管，佢哋结合后成为胚胎，将胚胎移植入女性嘅子宫内，咁样就可以好似自然怀孕一样，让胚胎继续成长。Process in a way is it looks as if it's straightforward, but even within that, there are complications. 要将卵子攞出嚟，女性要服用荷尔蒙药物，刺激卵巢，一次排出多个卵子，然后佢要接受手术，让医生抽取卵子。Mostly there are no problems, but a couple of people have actually died from the procedure. This is not unusual in any surgical procedure. 
Uh, there have been several documentaries, I think, uh, done so far now, even saying that the, the use of the hyper-stimulating drugs can cause some side effects in women as well. So, I mean, it's just, I don't like to make these things sound like scare stories, you know. But again, and I, I really think women should know these types of things before they embark on it, and it's a very important part of the overall picture. Yao 避免胎兒出現什麼問題,而要面對法律訴訟。背胎的命運就視乎診斷的結果。If I'm presented with the information that there's something genetically wrong, you know, with, uh, with this, or will be in the future, with this embryo, am I likely to have that embryo transferred? There are very few women, I think, who are going to say, you know, if there's something chromosomically wrong, oh yeah, I'll go ahead, I'll deal with it, no. So, Certain embryos are definitively destroyed and discarded after genetic testing. 進行基因測試之後,醫生會在合格的胚胎中挑選出幾個胚胎植入母體,避免多胞胎產生的額外風險,而另一些醫生就會將多個胚胎植入母體,以增加懷孕的機會。and then we had the really strange situation of in those situations where too many embryos did develop that then the mother or parents would say, well, I wanted a baby, but I don't want five. And so they had the, began the procedure that was called selective reduction, which we would call abortion, because it is abortion. Abortion是为了生孩子, 至於那些沒有被移植到母體內的胚胎,下落又會是怎樣呢? <音樂> 根據英國一份報章的報導,每一名利用試管受孕技術懷孕的婦女在過程中平均會做出15個胚胎。根據英國人類生殖及胚胎委員會的數據, 自1991年8月開始,單單英國就製造了超過350萬個胚胎。在這些胚胎中,大概80多萬被儲存在冷凍庫袋中,大概170萬個胚胎是白白被棄置的。天主教會反對任何以技術取代夫婦自然結合,以達到生育目的的科技。其中一個非常重要的原因,正是因為這些
誒即係幾 efficient 啊，於諸如此類咧，我哋都要誒揾一個最好嘅方法咧去製造呢架車。而家我哋係用呢個科技咧，嗰個思維咧帶入去做佢新嘅人一樣。父母希望子女健康、聪明，系人之常情，亦都冇咩唔妥。但系与此同时，父母对孩子嘅爱，亦都应该系无条件嘅。如果要刻意用技术塑造出一个完美嘅孩子，咁样系咪代表孩子唔符合父母嘅期望，就唔能够得到父母嘅喜爱呢？随住试管受孕变得越嚟越普及，实验室内有越嚟越多人类胚胎被制造出嚟。由于绝大部分嘅胚胎都唔会植入母体内，就系咁衍生咗胚胎干细胞研究。干细胞系具有自我更新、繁殖，并能够分化成不同种类嘅细胞。科学家发现，干细胞能够治疗遗传性疾病、培植同修补器官。干细胞移植治疗技术更被誉为人类有史以嚟嘅突破性医疗手法。我知道干细胞咧，就系、是、诶。嗯一個新嘅科技發展啦，而家嚟講咧，誒其實咧有兩種嘅，一種就係成人嘅幹細胞，就係即係話係我哋一個大人或者係小孩，就算係誒磁帶裏邊都可以抽咗啲咁嘅幹細胞出嚟嘅。另外一個誒方法可以講到幹細胞啦，就喺胚胎，即係頭先我哋講話而家好多剩餘嘅雪藏嘅胚胎咧，啊咁你喺嗰度裏邊咧，誒抽咗佢嗰啲幹細胞咧。就可以做一個叫胚胎幹細胞。And society feels that the embryos, well, rather than being frozen or being discarded, they have a, there's a more utilitarian approach to the embryo that they should be used for experimentation. It, even if we thought that it was okay to do experimentation on a, an embryo, the real problem is that the embryo dies. So in the, pro, in the process, and they know this is part of the process, experimentation involves the death of the embryo. So Catholic teaching is saying that quite apart from the fact that these embryos shouldn't really be brought into the world in this way in the first place, but once they're there, they are obviously people equal in dignity to the rest of us. The embryo itself still has to be protected, or at least certainly not deliberately destroyed. So it's, it's completely against uh, experimentation on the embryos because, of, because the embryo will die. 但系喺过往嘅干细胞研究中，绝大部分嘅资源都系投放喺胚胎干细胞上。The idea was that these are the, the stem cells that are capable of eventually, given the right way of getting them into the body, of forming organs and tissue in the body. Because at that stage in the embryo, they're they were called totipotent. They haven't already. Been directed towards being a specific part of the body, so therefore they were all all usable, and you could direct them towards, you know, a kidney or a heart or a brain. This is this this is in theory at at that point, and still very much theoretical even today. And the thought also was too that adult stem cells, because they're taken from sources that are already, you know, have have the. Been directed into being specific parts of the body、uh, wouldn't be as useful then for、uh, making treatments, used as treatments or, or making cures. 值得我哋留意嘅系，虽然投放喺两方面嘅资源相差咁多，成人干细胞喺治疗上反而取得更大嘅成果。我哋知道啊，成成人干细胞咧，啊、嗯，做呢啲咁样嘅人工工作咧，已经系好多啊、呃、成功嘅例子咧。可以幫助到誒、呃、醫好啲人啦、啊，用有唔同嘅病咧，都係成功咁醫到。胚胎細幹細胞暫時嚟講咧，都未有一個成功可以醫到一個疾病嘅、啊，所以其實都係非常之誒、嗯嗯、experimental， 係、啊、好早期嘅誒、嗯、實驗嘅啫。咁、嗯、其實咧、呃、最大問題咧就係、是、胚胎幹細胞咧，佢有時咧因為佢好難控制到佢嗰、那個誒、嗯、生長個過程咧，好多時咧會變咗癌啊。變癌變 cancer， 咁咧就好多危險啦。好多人誤以為天主教會反對幹細胞研究，事實上天主教會基於尊重生命，反對胚胎幹細胞研究。但係對於成人幹細胞，天主教會唔單止唔反對，仲大力支持。梵蒂岡聖座文化委員會喺二零一一年開始同美國一間專門從事幹細胞研究嘅公司合作。推广成人干细胞研究，希望能够为多种疾病揾到治疗嘅方法。
。即使为一啲冇宗教信仰，但系关注科学研究伦理嘅人，贝泰干细胞研究喺道德上依然存在好大嘅争议。为咗寻求医学上嘅突破，唔通人类胚胎就可以攞嚟做实验，从中遭受毁灭吗？从另一个角度去睇试管受孕，一啲夫妇由于男方不育而採用捐精者嘅精子，採用第三者嘅精子，又或者卵子作异体人工受孕，唔单止对下一代嘅成长带嚟心理上嘅创伤，对家庭嘅稳定亦都会带嚟意想不到嘅冲击，衍生多方面嘅社会问题。前几年都有个咁嘅啊。報告啊，出現咧就發現到即係呢啲小孩子咧，發現到佢佢如果佢爸爸唔係真生嘅爸爸，發現到原來咧誒佢哋誒爸爸係一個捐精者，唔係佢真正真正嘅爸爸。佢哋發現到之後咧，咁佢哋咧就好激動咯。誒，佢哋心理咧誒負擔係大啲嘅。譬如好似咁講，佢話有時佢哋發現咧好驚誒，見到誒同人拍拖嗰時咧，佢話呢個係咪我真係我嘅誒誒？誒家人咧，佢唔知道嘛，所以佢哋有時有時啲咁樣好似有少少怕呢樣嘢嘅。好多時咧，佢哋都會想知道佢嗰個啊親生嘅父啊父親個爸爸攞出個花嚟係邊個，因為咧佢哋誒想知道個根源喺邊度，所以咧佢哋就會有時會誒上網啊，或者去誒用好多唔唔同方法咧去去尋找佢嗰個個爸個爸爸。当社会大众谈论试管受孕，利用辅助生育科技，又或者喺决定系咪选用捐精者或者代母嘅时候，讨论嘅焦点通常都系集中喺想生孩子嘅成人身上，而孩子嘅利益就往往被忽略。Alana 今年二十七岁，佢嘅母亲当年因为丈夫不育，因而利用匿名捐精者嘅精子诞下咗 Alana。So my mom's first husband was infertile. They adopted my older sister. She's five years older than me, and she's adopted from Korea. And so, just because of our obvious like race differences, it begged to be explained. But then my parents divorced when I was seven. A year later, my mom remarried her new husband, my、um, stepdad, and my mom had their own child naturally. So I got to see the difference in the dynamics between my adopted sister. Who's completely not biologically related to anyone? Me, who's half biologically related just to my mom, and then my little brother, who is full biologically related to both of his parents. 身处喺复杂嘅家庭关系中 ，Alana 年纪好细就已经体会到父母对待姐姐同细佬同对待佢嘅分别。I got to see the differences between how. Men treat children that are biologically theirs or are biologically not theirs, and I got to see my mom treat a child that was biologically hers and biologically not hers. All children created with the best of intentions, or adopted with the best of intentions. When the divorce happened, my mom's first husband he wanted to keep full custody of my sister, but he didn't want to keep custody of me. It was that symmetry in parenting, where he felt purpose in raising her. He felt like her father. And with me, my biological relatedness to my mother just emphasized what I didn't have in common with him. 唔能够用自然方法生育嘅夫妇，渴望拥有孩子嘅心情，并唔难明白。但系当我哋尝试从孩子嘅角度去谂，嗰啲一出世就冇咗亲生父亲嘅孩子嘅心情，更为之复杂。当中嘅思想挣扎，不足为外人道。Adopted kids do feel. Abandoned by their birth parents, donor-conceived children have a little bit different of a story because we're always told how wanted we are. Kids born via sperm donation, they're very wanted by their mothers, which is always a good feeling. But there is that flip side of you were abandoned by someone. Adopted kids are not created on purpose with that separation. Alana 仲记得喺初中嘅时候同朋友诉说佢嘅故事之后。其他人对佢嘅态度。I had done an experiment telling my friends when I was 13 and in junior high. I told one person and she told the entire school, and then I became known as the test tube girl, which was humiliating for a 13-year-old. And I've done experiments where I tell people that my biological father is dead, which is 
much easier actually because it shuts people up or, but they console you they, they understand that there's that you're sad about it but that doesn't feel good to lie about that either so whenever I try to tell the truth to people it still makes them uncomfortable <laughs> 由于要保护捐精者，以免佢哋嘅个人生活受到影响，都会保密佢哋嘅身份。Alana 同绝大部分生父为捐精者嘅孩子一样，对亲生父亲一无所知。Until I was 20 years old, the only thing I knew about my biological father was that he was blonde with blue eyes and he had a college degree. So my whole childhood was filled with creating a story around those three facts and why would someone donate their sperm it's not donating why would somebody sell their sperm he must have been really poor so maybe he was a musician or maybe he was an artist and my mom we embraced that theory i was always more interested in music and arts because i thought that that's who i was but when i was 20 years old i registered with donor sibling registry i found out that he was a doctor he's of polish descent He's 5'9", he's raised Catholic, his donor number is 81, and that's basically all I know about him. 而喺有试管婴儿之前，早喺一八八四年，已经有人利用捐精者嘅精子人工受精。今年六十一岁嘅独立制片人 Barry Stevens 形容佢发现自己嘅父亲系捐精者之后，觉得非常震撼。I discovered I was、uh, produced. From what was called then artificial insemination by donor,、uh, I discovered that after my father died, when our mother told us, I was middle-aged when I found out the truth of who it was. I was only 18 when I found out I was conceived this way. The world suddenly became very silent.、Uh, our mother was very nervous when she was telling us, and I felt worried about her. We were all grieving the loss of my father in an accident a few months before. Yeah, it was a shock. You know, I knew enough to know that there was a lot of changes coming, that、uh, reproductive and genetic medicine was charging for it. Even even in 1970, it was clear. You know, I'd read Huxley's Brave New World. You know, we we all knew that this was coming. So I thought, wow, I'm one of the first produced by science and not sex. Barry 得知自己嘅身世之后，一直喺度搜寻自己嘅亲生父亲。喺未有互联网嘅日子，搜索非常困难。后来佢凭基因测试得到更多线索，多年后佢终于得知边个系佢嘅亲生父亲。My sister and I set out on a quest to see if we could find、uh, anything more about the man who made us and the 500 or 1,000 half siblings that I have. We succeeded after many years in identifying both the sperm donor and also. Have found a twelve half siblings. The man who who did the deed was the husband of the woman who was the doctor whose practice it was, and these were pioneers. She was one of two doctors then in the United Kingdom who were doing this during the Second World War. And this guy, his name is B.P. Wiesner, my bio dad. He donated or provided and profited from. Sperm from at least the early 40s up until probably the late 60s. 好多人考虑采用试管受孕，目的非常单纯，就系、是、希望可以有同自己血脉相连嘅孩子。但系呢一啲嘅渴求同自我需要嘅背后，我哋唔能够唔将眼光放远一啲，要明白呢一啲嘅决定对于道德、家庭、下一代以及社会嘅影响。呢、这个科技咧，啊，系由。最先嗰時開始咧，我哋已經已經先至搞到反對啦，即係話呢個啊啊做試管嬰兒咧，因為佢根本係我哋知發現到佢咧科技呢、這個啊創造生命呢個科技咧啊，佢有個咁嘅傾向咧，就係、是、越做咧就越多問題出現啦。開頭嗰陣時係講話係對啊啲一啲不育嘅夫婦幫助佢哋生育，跟住咧之後咧就都唔需要係夫婦添啦，你都可以用呢個科技去啊做製造一啲啊。小孩子啦，跟住咧，小孩子你跟住可以利用佢咧，誒、呃、話我要更加完美，誒、呃、可以做一啲嘅 design 嘅 baby， 即係會慢慢會誒向呢個叫 slippery slope 呢、这個誒呢個咁傾向誒、呃、去將來咧，真係唔知點樣發展嘅。Whatever it takes, we'll just. I want a child, and I want a child, and and I can't help but think. 
that it's a little bit self-centered. Maybe not deliberately so, the way we sometimes do things in a self-centered way for me, but in a, a broader sense, you know, you just think about, I want a child. And I can understand that, I really can but not at any cost and not without thinking through, but how does it affect a child? And I think that was the part that was missing for so long. It was more about, I want, you know? And when it got to the stage of, um, well, I want one child, I don't want five, you know? Or I want a child, but I don't want one that has a genetic problem. Once I come into the mix, it causes all these other problems that doesn't help me in my development of character because I'm now making decisions for other people that I really don't have the right to, the moral right, I don't think so, to do that. Sauyangi 天主如果没有借助孩子去祝福一段婚姻今个星期日下午 4点35